there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add color to our nodes on our workflow, make our workflows a little more exciting, a bit more interesting to, to look at. And we'll also look at how we can add um, contrasted text to those nodes so that we can see the text, the node text on particularly on very bright colored nodes so that's what we're going to do um, so let's crack on so to add the custom colors and the auto contrast for text we need to install two plugins so let's do that first so i'm going to go across to comfy ui manager i'm going to go to install custom nodes and the first set of uh, well, the first plugin we're going to install is called the Python GOS, and um, to install that, it's it's spelt Python G O and then four S's. So I'm just going to put in the four S's. I think it's the easiest way to do it. There can't be many words in uh, here that's got four S's in. So press return there, and we see here we've got Python GOS Comfy UI custom scripts. Now this is a really good set of nodes and I would I would recommend clicking on the link here and having a look through that in fact I think I've got yeah, I've got a copy of it here yeah so let's just have a quick I'm not going to go into any of these but there's some really good stuff here with the Python Go stuff and um, what we're interested in is this um, utility here which will be installed with it so that's Python GOS I'll put this link in as well but in my comments but uh, yeah, very good. So the second um, add-in that we're going to uh, need is the Aegis flow one. So if I type in A E G I S, press return, we now get the Aegis flow utility nodes. And again, well worth a look at those and see what else is there. Um, there's, some, there's some nice, interesting nodes and utilities there what we're interested in today is this one here which is adding contrast to the text in our nodes so there we go so if you're interested in doing this install both of these and then we will move on so returning to our workflow we can see here i've just got a very basic setup i've been using the um efficiency nodes in fact this was just a setup i used for a previous project i was working on um the workflow itself isn't of any importance we're only interested today looking at the colors of these nodes now these um three efficiency nodes here these have been uh, these are the default colors for them um, and that was created using the default colors so if i was to select one of these right click and come down to colors you can see here that we get a choice of nine standard um, colors in comfy ui and to be fair i would say three or four of those are almost the same shade of of blandness i don't, I don't like them at all um, but I'm, I'm sure there was a good reason why we we originally had these colors however while we're here let's have a look down here we now have this extra option which is the custom colors and we'll uh, come back to that in just a second so just click away from that the um other part of this is the contrasting text now we don't now that we've installed the aegis flow utility nodes we don't need to do anything else automatically all your nodes will have contrasted ed, um, added to them if they need it so you may not notice it so much in um, if you're using duller or muted colors, but as you or if you use brighter colored nodes, the um, text usually becomes harder and harder to read. But with this, this now this um, text contrast added, it will be much easier for us to to read the text on brightly colored nodes. So now I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So um, I'm just on this workflow here, just, just for information, I generated a 
I was using this as my reference. I'll put this um, the link to this in, in my comments. So this is a page from Civic AI, and this was the um, details of the prompt, etc., that I used to generate my image. I come back here. I managed to get this result, which actually I prefer. I really prefer what I've done to what anybody else has ever done, but I actually prefer this. So I've used the original prompt and settings, etc. The only thing I changed, because I was playing around with um, clip skip in a previous video, um, I changed the clip skip to minus 12 and I got this result. Um, on the lower clip skips, you know, minus one, minus two, whatever, I was getting images similar to this, but actually I quite like this. I think that's quite nice, but that's, again, it's by the by. So back to the colors then. So if we want to change um, colors on any of our nodes, as you know, you just right click on it and you select colors. You've got your basic um, default colors there. We've now got this extra custom. That's because we've been, we've installed the Python Goss custom colors. So if we in there, we get this little um, color widget now, and we can select any color we like. Um, we can use the slider. We can um, type in the color codes if we know what they are. We can um, toggle this. So we've got quite a lot of options there. And we've also got a, what do we call these things now? I forget what they're called now, but you know what I mean? So we can, we can take a cop we can take a copy of any color we like as well. So we have a lot of options. Now, the great thing that, so let, let's just change a couple of these. Let's go for this one, because this is a particularly dark color and this one as well. We'll go back to our colors, custom, and I'm going to push this all the way to the brightest that we can make it, which is bright white. Let's select that, push that right into the corner there and press return. Now we've got a bright white, um, colored node which we can't do with the default colors but more importantly just look how easy or how well the contrast has worked on that so we can read the text so that's the ages flow part of the equation and that works really well let's change if i press Control and change these two as well let's do the same so we'll go to colors let's go to custom and Let's go, let's try, I don't know, I haven't done this before, but let's, let's try black and see what happens there. And okay, so if with the black, so we've gone to the two extremes really, but we can see the text. I'm not sure that black works for me great as a color node, but really what I'm showing you here is the contrast on the node title text that you're getting and how well that works. So. And that's about it really. So if you want to use this, you need the Aegis Flow um, plugin and the Python GOS plugin. Once you've got those in the Aegis Flow, you have nothing else to do. You will automatically get the contrast text. And then for the Python GOS, you just right click and change colors as normal and select custom and then choose whatever colors you want. And that's about it. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day and goodbye.